Matt Henderson here, Director of Instruction at TPC Las Vegas. And what we're talking about here today is a couple things. I want to step you through uh, a drill in the second half of this video. I call it the airplane drill. And now before we get to that, we have to talk a little bit about the number one thing that I see amateurs coming down to the short game area with problems. And that is this, is I have a really hard time activating the bounce through the hitting area, through that impact area, uh, where we're actually making contact with the ball. And we get a lot of lead edge exposure. So that's this kind of sharp leading edge right up here actually hitting the ground and, and digging into it prior to us hitting, even hitting the golf ball, right? So now the, the big reason why that happens, the number one thing I see right here is we see a lot of club head side inside the hands and then look at that sharp leading edge it is really exposed to the dirt so here we go again that number one thing that number one symptom right is the toe of the golf club is down i have maybe some flex in this lead wrist and now that club head is way to the inside it's way back here behind me and so that club is just tailor-made to move right down into the turf and now we have all sorts of contact issues a lot of times there's some body issues that ensue because of that but that's what we need to go about fixing before we can get to our airplane drill so here we go what we'll do is we're just going to use the terms here we want to try to get the shaft a little bit more neutral with the hands so from this point of view where this camera is looking right here is I want you to kind of think, hey, I'm just trying to get the club head right in front of the hands. If you're looking at this in, in a mirror at home, my hands are kind of right over the toe of my shoe and that club head is right in front of them. It's not super in here. So as you're looking at that screen, it's not really to your left. It's not really to your right. It's kind of just sitting right on them. And also look at that toe. That toe is a little bit more up. It's not so much down in here like this. And now that whole thing is, again, is exposed to the ground. So how we'll do that is we'll just make these little diligent motions and these little rehearsals to where, hey, I come into here. Hey, there's my hands that are right over the toe of my shoe. My toe is a little bit up. All right, there's another rehearsal. I'm gonna step into the ball. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make that little rehearsal, make sure I see that. And now I'm going to sit and we're going to hit that golf shot. That is how I want you to kind of diligently practice in that little first part of your practice. If we can just take five minutes and do that, and then we're going to take another five minutes and we're going to go to part two. We're going to go to our next piece, our airplane drill, and actually get that crisp contact that we all desire so much. Part two of our drill, this is the airplane portion. This is where we're really gonna come in and actually start to get the club to interact with the turf. And all we're doing is we're coming in and saying, hey, I want the radius portion of this, that's called camber, this radius portion of the sole right here to lightly brush the ground. And we're gonna give it the analogy that this club head is an airplane. And now I have an impact area down here on the ground, it's marked by two T's, they're about four inches apart, and that's gonna be our runway. And so as we make this little comparison in here, what we're gonna do is we get our finesse wedge set up, we take a backswing, and now we're gonna brush the ground, but it's really that airplane touching down on that runway and then taking right back off. And so if we do that nice and diligently, we get our first piece in here, my face is prepped, I'm gonna move down slowly, brush that impact area. I hold my finish, I internalize how I made that airplane touch and go using that runway. So now after we do that a couple times, we'll just run our golf ball into here. It's the exact same scenario. Come in, we take our finesse wedge setup. We make our motion, we land our airplane, we hold the finish and it's this nice touch and go that gives us that, that great ground interaction and that contact. So there is our airplane drill. First part, we had to prep the face first in order to make that possible to achieve. 
Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. And for more information, I want you to visit matthendersongolf.com. We offer golf schools, private lessons, junior development, all right here in Las Vegas. So next time you're in town, reach out, matthendersongolf.com. Thank you.